What's up, YouTube? What's up, pocketbook lovers, handbag lovers? What's up, lovers of Dunia Burke? It is your girl, Aj. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you. It's been a long time. Okay, so the reason that it's been a long time is because your girl celebrated her 50th birthday. Go me. Go me. Yes, this is the 1969ers year, and I'm celebrating all year long. I made it when I turned 50 in February. My mother called me up and she said, you made it. You made it. You are 50. Not everybody gets to make it, but you made it. Blessings. So I was so happy. I was so honored that, yes, I made it, that I said, I'm celebrating the whole year. Okay. So for my birthday recap, on my birthday, which is Valentine's Day, I, myself, my husband and I went to Vegas and just like did the most for my birthday. And then last month, 25 of my closest friends, um, 23 of us flew to New Orleans and two of them resided in New Orleans. We flew in New Orleans and I hosted a weekend of just fun fellowship the bomb the best and my friends are still talking about how my 50th birthday was the bomb because i did the most in nola i did the i put the, the red carpet for my friends because it was my birthday and i wanted to celebrate and i did the most with the handbags so this is a birthday haul grab your um your um, beverage because oh my god I did the when I tell you I did the most for my birthday Paul I racked up so I'm gonna show you because I, I have like a few different brands in my collection but we're gonna start with Dunia Burke my favorite the love of my collection and I'm gonna show you so we're gonna go by that one and then I'll do the others so I'm gonna tell you what was a gift and what I purchased. So the first duty and break that I received as a gift, my girlfriend saw this on QVC, called me up, was like, yo, you want it? And it is the duty and break, um, it's coral, I know that. And it feels like it might, I've never, I have not been watching QVC because I've been on a, uh, and for my birthday, I was really focused on my birthday. So, and the one that happened in New Orleans. So anyway, so when she showed me this, she was like, girl, I saw this bag, uh, QVC. It reminded me of you. Would you be, would you like it? Because we're at an age where ain't nobody trying to hold on to stuff they don't like. And then when she told me this, I was like, oh, yeah, that's me. This is me. It's all about me. So I got this bag. I cannot wait to wear, carry it. It is um, ba basket weave, I think it is. And the color is coming. It's a really bright coral. But this, and I was reading, when I got it, I loved it. And then I started to read reviews and people were complaining that um, this was wrinkles. And thank the Lord, my bag is not very good. This is my bag. Like, this is me, like all day. One of the reasons I fell in love with Dooney and Burke. This is me, and I cannot wait to carry her. There's a pocket in the back. Um, I just want it to be warm. It's not warm, warm. I want it to be warm. So this might be the bag I carry the majority of the summer. Because Dooney and Burke, they do the most when it comes to color. So I'm sure there's some reviews on it, but when I carry it, it does come with a strap. Yeah, it does come with a strap. And it looks like it's spacious enough to carry all of my stuff. They did a different type of fabric this year. This, I guess, it's the um, stripes. And I love that because it's a stripe in blue. And then um, it's it's coral. This is going to be. I was telling my girlfriend, I'm I'm marking this this summer. I already see it happen because it's me. This is something I would have purchased for myself. Oops, my bracelet wants to get tangled. So anyway, this is the first bag, but this was a gift. Um, this was a gift on the Dooney Burke side. The other bag, this is no order of um no or no no particular order, but the other bag that I not I, the rest of the duty birds I bought with birthday money. I saw this bag in in Pos 
Ma voda, hodamo Alright. This bag, Poshmark. I love happy bags. I am in love with the happy bag bags. I have one in yellow and I have and I have one in blue. And I just bought this and if I could find one in red, that's not highly priced. I would definitely what's going on with this one lock? I would definitely grab it. Um, so I, I saw this on Poshmark recently and I grabbed it and the young lady and I spoke a little bit. She said it was great condition. I agree. I love it. I have carried them uh, a couple times during the summertime. Duty and Burke make the best colors when it comes to bags. And I've carried this, um, my yellow, my blue during the summertime. They make great festival, festival bags. Um, all you need is a small little wallet the one, um, and uh, your charger, your phone, a lip gloss, and that's it. What do you need when you want to festival? What could you possibly need? Not much, right? Okay. So, and the black, the same. The black one, when I got it, I noticed that it has some wrinkles on it. The lady didn't even say that, but that's okay for $37. It didn't matter to me because this is a perfectly awesome bag for um, for summer. I was thinking summer. The other bag I purchased, it... <laughs> Okay, what is the Ambler doing in my collection? I know I talked about the Ambler so bad. And I got mad because I took it with me and it was got a little color transfer. You can't see, but that's okay. I could care less about Ambler. However, when I saw this one listed as like new and the color, um, what color is this? Kelly Lime? I jumped on it. I grabbed it. I took it to carry with me when I went to New Orleans, but I did not carry it. And then it got scuffed. You've seen the ambulance before. It got scuffed by in my in, within my um. Okay, it got scuffed because I had a shoe in my bag. So I've been doing, I've been cleaning it, but I don't care. I, I wanted this to go with my Belvedere Kelly line that I carry in the summer, like all the time, because this it's so um squishy. And so during the summertime, I tend to just carry the Belvedere a lot. And I was like, if I could find one day the um, Ambler in that color, oh my God, my life would be complete. And boom, I found it, grabbed it, messed it up a little bit. But I've been, every day, I just try to get rid of this, the mark, and it's been working. Love the bag. I cannot wait to carry it for the summer. My little purchase, I purchased for myself for my birthday. All right. So I also purchased this bag. It's a, it's, um, I think it's, I don't remember. What's the name? What's the color of this, y'all? It looks melon, melon. It's melon. Another bag that I like for summer. And in the summertime, I do a lot of festivals, do a lot of traveling. And I just like the Dooney and Burke colors. Dooney and Burke make awesome bags. The colors are amazing. So that's the Dooney and Burke I purchased for myself for my birthday. Okay. My other Dooney and Burke bag I recently purchased, but this is probably the birthday um, collection. Let me tell you something. This is like, this is my unicorn. It is my unicorn because I wanted this bag. This is a Emerson um, North Reese somebody bag. And I always want, I did not want to pay the price that they were trying to sell it for. So, but I wanted this bag. It is a huge, and I went to the outlet and I was like, this bag is massive. As you can tell, I am a saddle bag lover. I love saddle bags. That's why I like the happy bags. This bag is massive. And so I tried it, I tried it on the outlet all the time, but I was like, the price point is not the price I want. And I missed out one time. I love Dooney had it for like, 120 take 20% off and it came up to $99 with shipping 
it came up to 109, something like that. But I didn't get it. And when I went to get it, it was like sale was over. So I saw this on eBay um, for 119 free shipping, grabbed it. And this color is going to be what I carry. My theme is colors, colors, colors. Because for my birthday, by, um, it was 50 Shades of Fabulous. And I had everybody dress up in one particular bright, bold color. So I'm going to continue the theme all year carrying bold, beautiful bags. And the only place I could find bold, beautiful bags is doing in Burke, the Burke people. So here you go. All right. Now we're going to get to the other collections. I started um, collecting some different types of bags. But let me see. I only have... Okay, this one. Let me do, let me go here. I recently purchased this bag. This is a coach bag. I don't remember the name anymore. But I recently purchased it, and um, I believe the Purse Fairy was selling it. I got it off of Melissa Purse's web, um, Facebook. Carried it for the first time the other day, and can I tell you, I love the bag. There is what I what attracted me for the bag is the um the chain so you open it i'm not gonna do a full full review because yo i don't want to take a lot of time and then i like that because it's magnetic here and it just opens up really amazing and then there's a back pocket i could take the straps out from here carry it on my shoulder which i did or carry it as a crossbody which you can if you want full review, I could give it to you. But I just want to carry along. Hold on. I'm back. So the first birthday bag that you guys saw was the MCM Anna bag. Now, this bag was my first birthday bag. And I wanted an MCM bag since the 80s. But I didn't want the other color. But, you know, we'll get into it. So this bag I purchased. Loved it so much. And it's a, it may, it's a zip. It zips up top. It's a big mama bag. I love this so much that I purchased the smaller size. <laughs> the metallic. I love my, the metallic. It's burgundy to me. It's a scooter red, but it's burgundy to me. And it, the, oh my God, the strap drop is everything. I carry it. And I just, I, you know, I'm a tote girl. Always been. I like how it opens. So this one doesn't zip. I like the Big Mama. So I use the Big Mama for traveling, throw all my stuff in there, and then this stays in my luggage and I carry them as a set. I do the most. And then of course, yeah, right. And then of course, it came with this. So I, it, you know, only I'm able to can't use them. All right. I just saw a gift. One of my girlfriends gifted me with a, whew, a Kate Spade pouch. I thought that was so sweet of her. We went to the party. She gave me she gave me a gift at my birthday party in New Orleans. Came home and she gave me this. She went and purchased this for me. That was nice, right? Okay, moving on. So then I decided that I didn't want... The con is it what's this called? Conat, um, whatever the uh, uh, MCM. So I got this one. This is my MCM bag. Um, it's very light to carry. It's there's a zipper in the middle, uh, two pockets. It reminds me like the the Edie that bag that I have, and then the bottom has feet. This is so. I could do a full review, but I'm going to move on to have a lot of other bags to show you too. Hold on. And then um, I also put, picked up this MCM wallet. I think you call it whatever you guys, whatever it's called, W wallet on chain, wallet on a chain. But this is a nice. See this slot here. You could put your stuff in, um, and you can put your money in here, but I carried it when I was in New Orleans out and about, and I put my, my big charger, my phone charger, my phone, my little wallet, money, and it's everything. Look at it. 
This is everything. Okay. And then in that print, I also have this. Okay. And then I did the most, I'm telling you. This was an MCM. <laughs> then I purchased the uh, the black MCM. Black. I want that. I think I want an MCM tote like this too. We're thinking about it. And lastly, with the MCM, I had to get the red. I got this pre-loved. Um, the ones that are not pre-loved are bright. And I does not like that. So I wanted one that was not pre-loved, that was pre-loved, that had been used and that I can carry it because the, the brand new one was too bright for me. So it also it also came with um, the pouch, yeah. I need it, and you could tell, you know, it's pre-loved because the pouch is that, and it's not the one that is similar to this. So a guy pre-loved, and it is authentic. If it, I, people care what they want, but my it is authentic, and I wanted it um, pre-loved. So yes, yes, yeah, okay. The other bag, we're moving. The other bags that I have is when my girlfriends gifted me this cute little coach wallet, which I carry. I like it. I like it. Oops, I almost showed you my business. I like it. I've been, I just started carrying it. She gave it to me for my birthday, and I was like, that's so sweet of her. And I'm, I've been carrying this coach, and I love it. Now, my other girlfriend was like, girl, you need to come out this coach life. You're doing too, not coach life, the Dooney and Burke life. You're doing too much with the Dooney. So she bought me my first Brahmin. <gasps> Can I tell you that I never knew that Brahmin, I would see them, but I never knew that they're so incredibly soft. Yo, I've been carrying this. When I go out, I carry this baby. Mm, and it's in red. You know, I love red. But whew, I'm thinking of getting another Brahmin bag. Yes, I am. This is so soft. All right. My last purchase I bought, and I wanted it pre-loved, is my Louis Vuitton of the Tom Tom. All right. So this bag, I wanted a Louis Vuitton. And I wanted it pre-loved um, because I wanted it pre-loved. So because I love tote bags, I got this one. So it is, um, when I got it, I looked it over and it looks pretty darn good. The, 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 there was really very little minimal um corner wear. I can't remember the name of it. The only thing was, of course, the strap was used. It patinaed, and that was pretty much it. The inside of the bag is cotton. There wasn't really, there was a pin mark, but it was in excellent, excellent pre-love condition. Um, what I love about this one is that, again, it's a tote, and I am a tote girl. I love to open my bags and be able to just, like, get what I need and keep it moving. So, it's because I am a matchy-matchy type of person, I am purchasing a pochette to go with my mat bag, and so I should be getting that soon. It should be coming this month. Uh, to match this bag. This is my first Louis Vuitton. I like it. I think it's if I if I were to get another LV, it would be a pre-loved then um older one because that, that's what I want. And this is a nice bag, very, very um well made and such a nice bag to carry. All right. As I'm looking at my goodies, what else, what else? I have, I did the most. Okay, so uh, do I, what else do I have to tell you? Time is running out. Um, I do have a few videos. I want to come back and talk about my backpacks, 
the ones that I carry, what I thought about them, especially the zip top one, the zip, the zip top one, the one that um, looks like a zip zip on your back. I'm going to come and talk to you about that one. Uh, but anyway, this is it. This is the haul. This is what I got for my birthday, what I purchased for my birthday, how I um, spent all my amazing resources, and how I'm celebrating all year. So um, you go out there, and when you reach a milestone, you do the absolute most. When you wake up in the morning, you do the absolute most, because every day, every second we're here, we're supposed to live it up, live it up. All right, everyone, you go out there, make it amazing, be nice to somebody, embrace somebody, and thank you for watching.